Another very popular report for Lean and Kaizen initiatives is Work Combination Sheet. You can see this option right here under the summary area here. And when we do this, we're not going to get one work combination sheet. We're going to get one for each of the tasks in your process. So you can see here I've got seven tasks here. And if I click on the work combination sheet, it's going to ask me what I want to call it. So I like to identify it. Again, keep it in a logical structure under the processes, under the uh, particular product you're working with. So maybe do a WC for work combination, uh, L602, 6201-1200. Right, and then we click on the save, and it's going to start generating that format for us here. Same idea as in the work instructions. You're going to get one tab for each operation, and it starts to build it here for you. You can see it putting it in and generating the, uh, the work combination sheet here. This is a classic lean breakdown you're looking at here. It's got the wait time, the manual, the auto, and the walk breakout here. And now you might be looking at this and saying, well, this format is not really what our operation looks like. Uh, in, in the work combination section, in the video library, you'll find out how you can customize this to your own particular needs. It's actually very easy. Anything you want, you can put in the top area. Anything you want, you can put over here on the right. We're doing the clever stuff, if you like, down here, where we're putting together the work combination. Upon completion, you'll find you have one sheet for each of the tasks in your process here. Let's move all the way to the left here, so stack parts. Right. As I said, it has the classic lean format here. So maybe you've got some wait time here, so you can put four in here. Watch the chart changing as I do this. In the manual time might be nine. Then there might even be some automated time six. You can see the chart changing right here. And then you can also uh, double click here and it will play back the videos directly from the um, from the Excel sheet. Again, you do not have to have a license for Timer Pro to give this Excel format to anyone. They just have to have access to the video libraries. That's why we want to store the videos in the same locations, probably in a network drive uh, where you can easily access them from anywhere in your location. Now you can customize it Again, the top and the sides any way you want and create a completely uh, customized uh, output for your own particular operation.